Ever have one of those days where it's just a sweet tea kind of day? That's been this month. No, it's a lie. It's been a very good month. But I am running a bit behind. Um, so we're just now doing the April box, the April American Made box. And I like to usually do it the week, the final week of the previous month, but it's been a whirlwind. So let's do it now. We're in the middle of April. So uh, also, we're only doing a very limited number of these this month. We're doing 10. Um, that's that's it. Our, our Kentucky Handmade Weekend event is in two weeks, and that's kind of taken our focus, and that is why um, this has been so late, and I apologize for that for those of you who wait every month for it. Um, our May one will, of course, be in two weeks. <laughs> so anyways, here goes. Um, this month, I, I kind of had been putting it off. I didn't really know what I wanted to include. I wanted, I like these to have a little bit of a theme. Um, and April just kind of felt like an in-between month for me. Um, I think, I think um, the fatigue of a year and a pandemic and everything has just really set in. And I'm honestly a little bit down most of the time. I just can't seem to shake it. Um, and I can't seem to get motivated to really get into spring, which is usually one of my very favorite seasons. Um, but I was putting this together because I knew we needed to do it. And it finally came together like 10 minutes ago. Um, so here we go. This month is actually a very, very good deal. Usually these baskets are worth about 120 and we charge 100 for them. So you're always getting a a decent discount. But this month, I totaled this one up before I started this, and it is at minimum $180 worth of goods, uh, which these are, these are really fantastic goods. And as I was putting the basket together, I just was like, oh, I want to include this, or I want to include that. I don't really care what it costs. Um, I'm not going to lose money, so let's do it. Um, we're going to start here, um, spring. If you, if you notice my style, which we're in my, we're in my dining room right now, my style is very much Americana-ish with a little bit of primitive, a little bit of early American antique, and there is some modernity. There's a very modern West Elm white fixture above me right now on this table. It's handmade in Wisconsin, and it's beautiful, and it's super modern, and these are Jonathan Adler chairs, but really all of that's beside the point. Um, this book, and I'm not going to pull it out because you can see it's Seasons, is one of my very, very favorite books. And for me, it's like the Bible of country style. It's from, it's almost, it's right at 30 years old. And if you know country style, you probably know it, probably remember it, Country Living did it. And I've managed to buy every used copy I can truly find, knowing I was eventually gonna put it in one of these books, boxes. So it's this month. It is, even, even though some of the things feel outdated. They feel completely timeless, and I have a feeling the guy who wrote it will be watching this, so I'm trying to like not geek out too much. But I own three personal copies of this book. I love it so much. I gave one to Jen O'Connor for her birthday last week, um, but I still have a ton, so there, it's in this month's bo box. I'm just going to pull it as I go. Um, Christy Jones Ray sent me a bunch of these last week, so it's another hand-done illustration and calligraphy by her. This one is a spring theme. I'm kind of enjoying it. We have something of hers in every month. It's box. Um, this one, I love this candle. We did this with Fleur's Lane. You've seen me talk about this candle before in some of my other videos, and I noticed, oh, we have 10 or 12 of these. Uh, let's go ahead and include them in the box, and we're going to actually do another scent in two weeks at our spring event. Um, that will go with this one perfectly. But this one is designed to have bourbon and smoked cedar and white tea. Um, I wanted it to feel very Kentucky and I love it because it's um, the house here sits on the banks of Walton Creek um, and that's what we named it and the number is 232 which is the uh, phone prefix here. It's not our area code but our prefix, the coordinates for my, my house. I mean this, this house means so much to me and I love that we can make a candle that really embodies that. Um, and then the next one is going to have a similar scent, but is kind of the room spray that I've been spraying everywhere endlessly. And last week when I was in New York, sprayed my entire room with this spray. Um, so we've decided to make that into a candle. And that'll, of course, be in an upcoming box. Speaking of my favorite scent, um, 
we did it as a soap bar for this month's box, which is, we call it iced tea. It's a very fresh lemon meets white tea scent. Um, and then I think you'll either get a, bur a bourbon bar of soap or a peppermint bar of soap. Um, I know these will be coming just as derby season is there and what is more quintessentially spring and Kentucky than a mint julep. So bourbon and mint, you know, it's perfect. So this month, each box will get two bars of soap. And these are of course all made here in my county. Um, we're doing the pineapple pound cake jam. It's not a jam, it is a jam uh, in this month's box, which is one that we make. Uh, we're also doing cherry pie jam because summer is coming and I love that we have cherry season to look forward to. I have to replant my cherry trees next week because they died. Sad story. Um, I love waffles and French toast. And anytime I go to a restaurant and I have French toast, I bring my own syrup, I bring tree juice. This is a bourbon infused one. This was actually cinnamon maple infused. We're including those or bourbon in the boxes and they're just a cute little sample size. So. You hear me talk about our room sprays a lot. I love them. I absolutely am obsessed with them. This month we're doing lavender because it felt like spring. Um, and yeah, I think you'll really enjoy that one. Okay. I know quotes are all the rage and I always like to have something that we can just kind of throw in that you could tuck in the things that you can use as note cards or place cards or decorative. So each one will get a couple of these great sugar boo quote cards. We've got that and that. I'm gonna drink some because we're seven minutes into this video. I wanted it to be four minutes long. We love this. I put this on all my bread puddings. It is butterscotch sauce. It's phenomenal. It is like, I can't recommend it enough. Warm it up, eat it by the spoonful, put it on ice cream, put it on your bread pudding. We've got the bread pudding on the website and that is my signature topping for it. Okay. Every month I include a little token of folk art. I think that's really important for with what we do. This month though, you're getting a four by four painting because I wanted this month's box to be really over the top since we're only doing 10 boxes. Each one will get a four by four canvas original. This is a great value. Um, they're all, they'll all be the floral theme. They'll all be this kind of color scheme, but they'll be a little bit different. So I'm, I'm so excited for this. These are by Arlo Goods and they are silk. They are truly silk and they're beautiful. Um, each box will get one of their silk scarves. Um, we have a lot of these. These are peonies and that's my favorite flower. And that is of course a very spring flower. So most of the boxes will get this. A few of them may get a hydrangea or a different pattern, but they're all silk. They're all just beautiful gonna leave that there. And then the last thing, I love these towels and I know most of you do too. They are made in Iowa and a little dusty from the azalea. Um, but we're gonna include another one of these in this month's box. I think these are great grab and go gifts. They're great to use and they're like useful things. So we have so many of these. Um, each one will differ a little bit. They'll all have this country Americana theme. They all have the great hand done illustrations. I think you will truly love these. And if you got them in last month's box, we will try to make sure you get a different one this month. So that's the box. And I love this one. Again, it's over $180 for a hundred. So it's a great value on top of it all. Um, we only have 10. These will go very quick. So hopefully as soon as you're done with this video, you'll go to folkgeneral.com and you will order your box and I will see you again in two weeks for the May box, which will be completely different, but give this one first. You know you want it.